Hi, I would like to um, talk a little bit about what I think is um, an obvious thing. Uh, I've participated in some some uh, group discussions uh, online uh, discussing Christian issues, and when I'm speaking with uh, atheists and unbelievers, not necessarily atheists, they might be a different religion, uh, what I run into a lot is people saying to me, well, what about the Spanish Inquisition? Because I talk about how wonderful Christianity is and what a beautiful message it, it has. And of course they bring up the, uh, the Spanish Inquisition or, or perhaps some of the televangelists uh, that have been on TV here in the last few years uh, declaring uh, amongst other things like the Teletubbies are gay or something like that or uh, that that Westboro uh, I think it's Westboro Baptist Church that goes around protesting the soldiers and they uh, they they bring these things up and they say well what's beautiful about this message that uh, causes people to do that well, uh, my thought is you know, I go back to the Bible and I read it. And in Matthew chapter 5, well, chapters 5, 6, and 7, uh, Jesus is, is preaching the Sermon on the Mount. And this really lays the groundwork. Uh, same thing as Moses going up to the mountain and, and giving the law. Well, Jesus uh, went up to the mount and, and, um, and preached the Sermon on the Mount. And uh, in the same fashion Moses did and gave the law. And uh, he really didn't change the law. If you studied the Old Testament, uh, you see uh, that nothing really did change in the Sermon on the Mount. It's completely compatible and agrees totally uh, with the law of Moses uh, with respect to how people are to treat one another. Um, one of the things I'd like to mention is, you know, uh, Jesus talked about love your enemies and uh, pray for those that persecute you. If somebody sues you, uh, for your tunic, give them your coat too. If they force you to walk one mile with them, walk another mile with them. Uh, these are the messages that Jesus preached. And, um, you know, when I hear about, well, what about the Spanish Inquisition? Uh, I don't see any authority in the New Testament at all that would authorize that type of thing. Uh, any hateful behavior is not authorized in the New Testament, period. I can't find it in there. And, uh, so if, if there are people that call themselves Christians who are doing this, uh, they're ignoring this beautiful message that Jesus gave us. And I, I, that's pretty much uh, uh, the message that I wanted to, to give today. Thank you.